Hey guys, it's Mo, and today I have a plan for you featuring my classic size happy planner. We are going to be planning for Thanksgiving week, and I showed you there in the beginning a self-care checklist that I have up over on my Patreon uh, printable of the month club. So if you want to go ahead and join that, I will leave a link in the card above. This planner I got on clearance from Joann's, I think, um, a while ago in the summer, and I don't know what it's from, but November has these little watermelons on it that I have covered up with washi or with white out rather and then I put these little pumpkins from the squad goals squad goals yeah squad goals sticker book on it I've been loving using these little I don't know like sticker strips I guess to cover up the weirdness that's on the bottom of my planner like watermelons in November it's not really fall like so I have been covering it up I do like the washi strips that are in the squad goals um, planner for each of the like seasons, but I haven't used them. I haven't figured out how to use them yet And I didn't use them in this spread either um, I am picking out some of these fall stickers from I think it's the seasonal like mini sticker book I have been using all of my fall stickers. So now I'm down to like a hodgepodge e type of deal uh, for fall stickers, but I pull out that and then I have the seasonal, the new seasonal sticker book um, with some fall and Thanksgiving stuff in there. I have I think all of the mini sticker books and I put them all on um, discs. I don't know which, I think I, I might, I must be missing a few of them. I don't have any of the new October releases. I just got Miss Maker because I didn't really like any of the other stickers, but this has saved me for my Thanksgiving week planner spread. Now I'm going to go into, I believe that's a memory keeping, happy memory keeping sticker book and get these, um, what are they called? leaves out and use them to decorate the top of my page. And what I normally do is I will put um, like a sticker or a decor item or whatever you want to call it on the edge and I'll cut it in half or cut off what's hanging over the the edge there. And then I will use that as a, another type sticker um, in another place. It kind of doubles my stickers and it kind of makes everything look more organic and more I don't know. I don't want to say like naturally placed because stickers don't grow anywhere naturally, but you know, just a natural sort of design process. Everything looks a little bit more put together. So that is a tip that I have for like making the most of your decor style stickers. I am going back in the squad goals sticker book here to put some other decor pieces on the side. I usually put something under this goals section. This is the second time this year I have used these little um, girls jumping in the leaves and this little dog walking girl sticker. I love it. I sort of hoard these stickers and it's bad because then I'm like, oh, I gotta find the perfect time to use them. And then I don't end up using them. And now we're at the uh, last week of like fall spreads. I don't know, are you gonna do fall spreads next week as well, the week after Thanksgiving, since it's still um, November, or are you gonna start your Christmas slash winter spreads? Let me know what you're gonna do. Maybe if I can figure out how to make a little poll, I'll make a little poll for you guys. But I did a poll on Instagram and everybody said that they were going to do winter spreads next week. I did also find this, um, I think it says be thankful, um, sticker from the, Seasonal sticker book, it's like a really long sticker. It doesn't take up all of the space, but I will go in and fix that later. I also put, pulled out this bake a pie because I have to bake pies, which I totally procrastinated on on my shipped shopper today. <laughs> had to run around the store to try and see if there were any more pie crusts for me to make my pies for Thanksgiving. It is Tuesday right now, and I totally procrastinated on getting the um, supplies to make it because I thought, you know, they'll be there, they'll be there. I have something to do with my friend Wanda on Sunday. It's like a wine and paint thing, so I'm very excited for that. Um, and and I also like now that the headers in the seasonal pack, it's not like all the todays are red and all the to-dos are green and all the remembers are black or something like that. They have um, like a today, a to-do, a to-buy, and to-go in like purple. And then in all of those again in orange. So it's not like you have to use the same today stickers all the time. So I've been really loving the new seasonal sticker pack. I've been trying to incorporate the old seasonal sticker pack as well. And I have realized that the stickers in some of the older Happy Planner books 
are not the same size as the stickers in the new Happy Planner books. And you can see I'm gonna place this leafy type full box here, but it doesn't take up the entire box, like from the bottom all the way up to the header. It just goes from the bottom to the bottom of the header. And that's how the Happy Planner, Happy Planners used to be, and now they're not. So I'm gonna, and my 2019 Happy Planner does not have that thick header. Um, it just has a really thin one. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do for it to look better. I'm thinking about using some washi tape in the future. This is where my computer or my phone cut off when I was filming because my sister called me, so it's not in the same spot. And I also tried to peel up some stickers and fix some things, and then the stickers did not want to cooperate. So I had to replace some <laughs> there. I feel like the sticker paper is also different or has changed over the course of the time of the Happy Planner being around. Also, do you all remember when it was, when they had the Happy Planner stickers and they were that really thick, like glossy paper? I am so glad that they went to this more matte, um, really thin paper that you can uh, write on and peel off and you don't have to use like a permanent marker. I use the Friction Slim pins. It has a really fine tip and I really, really like it. They're also erasable, so that is great. And then I just pulled a Bill Do sticker from the uh, budget sticker book. I don't know if you can hear my dog over here. She is snoring kind of, or snorting a little bit loudly. And then as always, pulling out some colorful boxes. I have the new colorful boxes sticker sheet or sticker book, but I'm not 100% sure how to use it because I'm so used to how these look. So that's gonna take some playing around with for me to get used to it. But I'm just using some gold boxes because of some of the gold like foiled accents on some of the stickers. I really think that the um, Colorful Boxes sticker book is a really great book to add to your collection. Like if you're looking to get started, I would suggest getting something like maybe a color story. There's two of them now and maybe like the seasonal book and maybe like um, the Colorful Boxes book because it's going to be very practical and functional, I think. I also <laughs> lost this line it up and check it off stencil. I had to buy another set because for the life of me, I couldn't find it. And then I was putting up the Christmas tree and moved the chair and apparently it had fell, fallen like in the recliner and under the recliner. And so I didn't know it was under there, but now I have two, I just found them. And then I'm putting in these bullet points because I needed to fill up some face and I really like those little bullet points. They're from an original sticker book. I don't remember which one. And this is my final layout. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Happy Thanksgiving and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.